Lake Echo is located in the Upper Derwent uh, Hydro Scheme and serves as an important headwater storage facility in that the water discharge from Lake Echo services a further seven power stations downstream. Lake Echo is going what we call a half-life refurbishment. We are upgrading, we are modernising, we are replacing and we are refurbishing all key components, systems and equipment. But it's also important to understand that the upgrade of Lake Echo will result in the station being complete remote operating capability, providing much needed flexibility, which is much valued in the modern market environment. A significant undertaking like this one is against mechanical, electrical and civil stream and includes not just the station and switchyard, but also the water conveyance headwork. We've pretty well stripped the machine from top to bottom. This machine's been running since 1956. We're looking at going at least another 30 years without any major intervention. Planning the resources and logistics for this sort of project takes a lot of time. Dependent on which area of the project we're in, we could need anywhere up to 40 people on site. So during the refurbishment period, we can have machinists on site, we'll have electricians on site, we'll have painters on site, uh, we'll have tradesmen on site working on various different aspects of machine, uh, we'll have non-destructive testing taking place. It's my job to make sure that the work party can move along steadily, efficiently, safely. I've had to supervise and manage right through the disassembly of the machine. We start at the top of the machine, we work all the way down, as well as all the auxiliary components around the outside. The step process of that is during disassembly, absolutely everything gets matchmarked, everything gets numbered, everything's measured in full. So that helps us with the rebuild. We can mark them with the old components so we can match bits and pieces up to where they've got to go. We have quality control in line with that. Everything's measured, there's nothing missed. We have a pretty good team here to work with. Everyone works well together. We all sort of have a love for the machine. I came on board about two years prior to outage start where the Lake Echo location certainly required high-end station surrounds planning and also a lot of work prior to outage in terms of thinking about the job, not only for the job today, but also thinking about ensuring that uh, all the walkaway value add that we could provide for the local area and ultimately the Tasmanian people to take it from 1956 to 2022. And to be walking away with this wholly remote operating station is a major step change in terms of innovation. I'm certainly very proud of the fact that Hydro Tasmania, this is a wholly owned delivered work delivery end to end.